Oh no, who ordered that? Oh no. Gyoza, craft beer market. Craft beer market. I see this place all the time and I finally want to go into it. So let's check this place out tonight. We got a lot of favorites here. I'm going for this Safine Golden Perch. This uh, West Coast IPA, USA. At 1600 yen, that's kind of pricey, but let's give it a shot, okay? I'm this. I'm expectations in here it is a brew market so I think you can order to go uh, a lot of breweries in Japan or places that serve just like this they act like a microbrewery it just gets a little awkward when you order dishes you know I, I always look for that certain foods nachos or you know, little shareables but if I get like Japanese food it's, it's, it's awkward when I get them in this type of environment. But I'm really looking forward to the selections I'm getting here. Uh, I'm gonna get something Japanese after this first American IPA, so we're looking forward to that. But other than that, the style here is very nice. It's like a lighter touch on the rustic. Feels very, very quaint. Cool place to bring a friend. Uh, the lights are bright, so it's also really nice to just kind of chill out. Uh, and we won't take it too seriously. The ambiance isn't really like directly in your face. <laughs> but so far, so good, nice characters, everyone's really happy to be here, they're really nice to serve me, it's a good place. West Coast IP never fails. Thinking about getting this Totopia, it's a 6% 6, 6 a hop sour, a dry hop sour IPA. It's going at 900, huh? Totopia Brewery. It has like a little pink fizziness to it. Ooh, fruity. Ooh, hoppy. And you can taste that dry agedness to it. It tastes like they dry aged it for way too long. A little too fruity for me. Don't think I'll get it again. But we'll still, we'll, we'll still finish it. Peppery karage, spicy. Uh, it's fixed to be spicy. It's not all the way spicy, but it's the look. In Japan, it always looks spicy, but it's not. These are actually spicy, spicy garlic chips, and um, eating them by themselves is actually super good. As a topping, not so good, but by themselves, super spicy, super fire. Good. It's better the more you eat it. The batter is sweet, but overall, I still don't recommend it. Sorry, not sorry. We're going. We're gonna go for this pilsner. We're going for this pilsner right here. Seems like a slap at the 6.8 BV. Sounds good. Let's get it. Six pointer pilsner. Very rich. I got a Japanese brew this time. Tasty. Look at that color. Nice filling. Full taste, full body. Way more impressed with this than the West Coast IPA. Sorry guys, but uh, this one takes it for now. All right, I want to try this uh, this Weizen. I'm a fan of Weizen's 5.5 uh, ABV. We're gonna give this one a go right here. So this is that blonde, that white ale. Ooh, I love Hefenweizen's. Softer note. Tastes like it's been squeezed with lemon and orange juice. Amazing. You can't get rid of this type of flavor. It's very good in the summertime. It's good just running around on the beach. Good stuff. All right, now we got some gyoza in the house. In the house. Gyoza always hits the spot. It's so good. Overall, this place is fantastic. It's a nice vibe. It feels really good. Open space and open area. Some of the snacks are kind of questionable, but the beers, the drinks, 10 out of 10 stuff. I highly recommend stopping by Craft Beer Market. The place is fantastic. The place is fantastic. The pool's really nice. 
Very nice service, very good place. Nice place to bring friends, family, a date, whatever you want, man. I highly recommend this place. Craft Beer Market, 10 out of 10 spot. Kichi Joji, a few walks away. What's your favorite craft drink? You guys go ahead and tell me down and comment down below, okay? Have a good night, peace. Oh no, who ordered that? Oh no.